Hi, Tim Unker here, and I am going to be recording a video on making a uh, HTML, simple HTML CSS site um, that works on mobile as well as uh, desktop, but it's going to be very simple uh, for a class. And to start off the video, I thought it would be fun if I close my eyes. I've got my text editors out here and I'll just randomly pick one with the one my cursor gets closest to and stop and it's gonna be brackets okay we're gonna do this website in brackets I guess and I've got a folder for it called Unkert Math so hold on a sec bring up brackets here and I guess I had another project on there oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, close all And let's open a folder uh, called Unkert Math. Okay, let's start a new file. And let's save that file as index.html. And that's going to be uh, the, the file that um, the when, when you uh, put index.html in the folder um, in your cPanel, that's going to be when I type in the address unkertmath.com, it's going to go to the index file first. Okay, So I'm going to hit an exclamation point and then hit a tab. And I have the Emmet plugin in here. And I'm going to type home and um, then uh, it's going to be Unkert Math. Maybe we'll do a vertical bar. UnkertMath.com. Um, we have one meta description up here. I want to add a, another one. Uh, and we're going to call this one a Viewport. And the UTF-8 one is important. The, the character set is important. Um, because if you don't have that, it's going to come out a little funky um, with some of the characters like apostrophes and stuff like that. Um, won't format correctly. Uh, so the viewport helps with um, getting the uh, website to look good on mobile. So in the content area, we want to say width equals device dash, dash width, um, and then a comma and initial scale equals 1.0. And we'll close out that. And then we're also going to have a meta name equals description. And then the content is going to equal, um, we're just going to say, hi, my name is Timothy Unkert, and this is a math website to help your students. Let's close out that meta tag. Okay. Uh, another thing we probably want here is we're going to want a style sheet. So I'm going to type in link and hit tab. And then that's going to give me um, a style sheet link. I'm going to type in CSS slash style dot CSS. Now I'm going to have to create that file. So let me save that. Um, do a new file and click save as. And then I want to save it in a folder called CSS. OK. And then we'll do style dot CSS. OK. Okay, so we have the index and we have the style sheet. There's nothing on the style sheet yet. Um, okay, we probably want to do an outline um, of what the website's going to look like. Um, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to hit a dot and type in container and then tab. That's going to give me uh, a container. Um, and I use that uh, for my styling so that I can um, make the website kind of narrow. Um, versus the full screen. I like to have it maybe 900 to 1100 pixels across the screen, kind of like it in the center. I don't like looking like this. I just want to find my information like that. Um, okay, so doing that, now I'm going to type header and hit tab, and then nav and hit tab. That's going to give me a nav menu. Then I'm going to hit A and tab. That's going to give me a link. I'm going to type in index.html, and that's going to be unkertmath.com. Now I could have an image here, I really wanted to make like an image for the logo and have that as the link and I may do that at a later point um, but not right today I'm gonna hit a and tab we probably should have an about page so we'll have to make an about.html so that's about um, 
Uh, then I'm going to hit A and tab. Um, and actually, I'm going to go online for this. So let me go to Chrome. And I also sell worksheets on Teacher Pay Teacher. So I want to get the address for my store. So you know, there's a Teacher Pay Teacher sale today. Um, so I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to have that open in a separate window. So I'm going to type target equals an underscore blank. And then we'll just say my teacher pay teacher store okay we'll come over here a and tab probably want to have a terms of service dot html terms of service and then we're also going to want a tab um, privacy policy dot html and we'll do privacy policy okay um Okay, so we've got the main part, the header. Now, if I hit Control Save, I can go over here with this text editor and I can do the live preview. So let's do that. And we've just got that. It doesn't look very good just yet, but we'll mix it up and we're gonna change it. So then I want the main part and here I'm gonna want maybe a Header one, let's do, um, let's say posts, something like that. And then I have a couple of links. Uh, this will be, um, let's say it's a math website. So let's say absolute value.html. Uh, absolute value. And you may want to put that in a folder called algebra. So let's do, do algebra slash absolute value dot HTML. Um, and then let's do another one. Let's say algebra slash um, identity uh, and inverse properties dot HTML. So we'll create some pages um, and inverse property okay identities and inverse properties so we'll have two posts so far okay for our main part and then so I'm basically gonna have and actually you know what maybe we'll have these in a list okay so I'm gonna hit control X and then we type UL and then LI and control V and it's gonna give me both of them I don't want both so we're just gonna control X that and let's bring this back here and then we'll go over here and control V. Okay. And um, so we got two things in a list. Okay. And then, uh, so let's take a look at what we've got so far. So we got, yep, the, the menu, the posts, and now we want to have probably a footer. And we'll say, um, do a paragraph copyrights uh, and that's the copyright symbol 2019 Timothy Unkert and we've got the start of a front page with a listing of posts um, and you'll see that's um, it highlights the area you just worked on um, when you're using brackets so okay so we've got this we've got our um, our start it doesn't look that great um, one thing I might want to do is import a font from Google Fonts. Their library is free to use. Um, so if you look at Google Fonts and you go to About, uh, you go down here, all the fonts in our category are free and open source. Um, okay. So you can use any of your Google Fonts. All right, so let's go back to the fonts. Maybe refresh this page. Um, and Let's do ooh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> there's some interesting ones. Playfair Playfair display. Let's try that one. Yeah, you can change this around. And we want to import that into our style sheet. So I'm gonna copy these lines where it's the import in between the style tags. 
go back here and open up my style sheet and type that hit save and you'll see nothing's nothing's happening yet with that um, we have to now have to put this font family in okay so I'm gonna hit control and C to copy go back here and then if I wanted that to come in I'm gonna want it to come in on pretty much everything my my links my paragraphs my unordered lists my ordered lists my header one header two header three header four header five header six I'm going to create those brackets and then hit control V um, and then save it and now it should update so now you see we've got a totally different font here. I'm just going to refresh that to get rid of that blue. But it, it's looking a little bit better. Um, and I haven't really used this font much. Let's see. So bring this down. Uh, we're on Playfair Display. Um, so we've got like a regular. We've got a bold. We've got a, a really thick one. Um, regular italic oh that looks pretty cool uh, and then this is the regular 400 so it's you know font weight is 400 but if I were to uh, increase it to say 700 hit control and save now you see it's much thicker you know I don't particularly like it like that so let's just leave it at the default it should be 400 and now it's at default again so that that looks pretty good um but let's say i didn't really want let's say uh, i said eh, you know yeah that's not so great so i'm gonna get rid of that um and i'm going to clear that clear that excuse me um let's say i wanted to pick something else um like pt serif let's do that Okay, and then I wanted to import this, so let me import that. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control V. Okay, and then I want to change this family, so Control C over here. And save it. Okay, so now, now we've got a different font. Okay, it definitely looks a bit different. Uh, and I say, eh, you know what? I don't really like that one either. Let's go switch it up. Let's go find something else. Um, so I'm going to unselect that. And then I'm going to go down here. Um, hmm. This one has a medium. Let's say, okay, let's, let's select this one. And you can play with this all you want. But let's select this one. It has a medium at 500. So let's go control C. Okay. Um, okay. And I'm going to import that in there. And then go here. Control C. And that. I don't know why it's going to run. That's annoying. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit save and let's see. Okay, so this is a little different. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. All right, and let's let's say I don't want to do anything with the headings, but with the links, paragraphs, unordered lists, and ordered lists, I want to increase the font weight to 500. Let's see if that does anything or if it's at 500. Okay, so you might see it darkened up a little bit. Um, let's see, let's hold on. Let me take a look at this. Uh, Font here, work sans. So it's regular, got medium. Medium changes slightly, so we're at 500. We're a little different. Light. Okay, let's try. Let's make it lighter. Let's do that. See if we notice a difference now. I'm not noticing much of a difference between these um, these things. It might be the browser is not really distinguishing much between them anyway so that's how you can change your font now let's work on some other styling effects here um, so let's say we want the body we want to have a background color for the body um, and let's 
let's take a look. Let's scroll through here. Uh, let's make the background body corn silk. Never tried that before. Okay, so now let's see. Now it changes. It's a little bit, a little different. A little like pinkish. Well, it's like corn silk. Okay, uh, but we want the container. We want the container to have a different background. So we'll do the background color here. I can use just background. Let's uh, do white. Let's do antique white. Okay, and hit Control Save, and you'll notice the color is a little bit different um, there. I could change it up a little bit more. Let's do let's do white smoke, and hit Control and Save, and now it's a little bit lighter in that area. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a little pinkish. I probably will mess with the colors a bit, but that's how you change the colors. Okay, so getting some caffeine. Um, okay, so the other thing I want to do with the container is I want to center the stuff more in the center of the screen. So I'm going to make the max width uh, 900 pixels. And I'm going to make the margin automatic. Spell that correctly. And hit control save. And now you'll see it brings it into the center, all right? And then, then you have um, the outside here, okay? Um, and let's just for, just for this right now, I'm going to make the minimum height. Um, let's make it 90% 90, 90 of the view height. And, okay, so now you see it goes down. And, and you know what? To make you be able to see this a little bit better, let me do the background of black. And that way it'll it'll come out. So so you see that I've made this container here, okay? All right, and now I've got this menu here, okay? And actually, you know what I want to do? I think I'm going to make this just to make the contrast good. Make this completely white, and okay. So now you see it's completely white. Now that's cool. Um, now within the header, within the nav. Um, I'm going to want to have the background here be a little bit different. So let's go through and scroll through. And we can scroll through these colors here and say, well, what do we want? Uh, maybe we'll, we'll do it with floral white and see if we notice that at all. Okay. So I'm going to hit Control Save. And you notice it just a little bit. Um, maybe I would notice it a bit more with white smoke. Uh, so I'm going to hit Control Save. And yeah, a little bit, a little bit noticing. It's a little different color there. Um, but let's let's just say, let's do something that's a little bit more noticeable so you can see it on the video. Let's do light gray. Okay, so light gray, actually that's kind of cool. Um, so we have a light gray. Now, maybe I don't want the links to have the underline, so I'm gonna type in nav and a. Those are the links in them in the menu, and I want no text decoration. So I'm going to type in none. Um, and I want the color to be, let's go dark gray, and we'll see how that works. OK, eh, and it kind of works OK. Um, but hmm. let's, let's take a look and see what colors we can get gives it to us. Okay, so it gives us this menu. Let's go through here. Uh, cadet blue, maybe corn flower blue, mm, dark blue, cyan, yeah. dark gray, dark green. Different. There's a couple different dark grays. Dark khaki, dark magenta, dark olive, dark orchard, dark red, um, dark tortoise. Interesting. Deep sky blue, dodger blue. Let's try dodger blue. Okay. Hit control and save. And so we've got the links like that. Now I could definitely style these quite a bit differently. Um, and let's do something different. Now that you've seen that the background color works that way, let's find a different color that's a little bit even lighter. Um, gonna go scrolling through here. There's, there's more colors than this. 
And you can look at W3 Schools has a color online thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's not giving me. Okay, so if I type in W, it's going to give me all the ones with W in it. Um, sure. Uh, you just pick a color. Whatever. All right, that, that looks kind of disgusting. But um, I don't know. Let's go. Let's type in uh, a B. Gainsborough. Okay, so you can find like a, a ton of colors. So yeah, that looks all right. Um, okay, so another thing I want to do with the nav menu, let's not waste too much time on colors, is I want to um, align the links in the center. So to do that, I'm going to type in display and I'm going to make it a flex display. And I'm going to justify my content into the center. I'm going to hit control and save. And that's going to bring the links, but they're all going to be touching each other. So one thing I want to do is add a little padding to the links. So let's add 10 pixels of padding. And that should separate them a little bit. So now you see they're a little bit, they're nicely centered. They're nicely apart, though. Um, okay. Now let's do something else. Let's do something when we hover over the links. So we're going to type nav A, colon, and hover. And then I want the background color to change um, into a yeah azure, sure. And then the color I want that to change as well. We want it to be into blue, maybe. Okay, so let's hit Control Save, and now oh look at that, that is pretty cool. Okay. Um, so we've got that going on now, all right? Uh, another thing I might want to do is round the edges of the corner. So I'm going to type border radius, and this may not do anything. I may have to do this at header too. Border radius uh, 10 pixels, and hit Control and Save. And you see it rounds it on the bottom, but not on the top. Uh, and we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to also round it on the top and the bottom. So, okay. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go to my header, style the header a little bit, and we're going to have to do um, border top left radius 10 pixels, and then border top bottom, or no, top uh, right radius and it'll give us it to select do 10 pixels there and hit control and save okay and it's still not working so we have to do that with the nav as well okay it's going to give us that 10 pixels and then border I want to do top right radius I'm going to select it 10 pixels and I don't feel pretty nice about yeah and now it shows up so now we have that rounded corner on the top. It kind of makes it look a little cool, I think, anyways. We've got our post, but the problem here we have now is we have our post jammed up here. We have our footer kind of uh, smashed there. Uh, so I think one thing that I want to do, and we're going to have to do this with the footer, because if the footer is near the bottom, there's a lot of content. We're going to have to have this border bottom left radius and border bottom right radius. So I might take care of that right now. So footer, border bottom, um, left radius, 10 pixels, uh, and then border bottom right radius, also 10 pixels. Okay, let's control and save that. Um, and it doesn't do anything yet, but if the footer's down there, it'll work. Okay. The other thing, I want to align my text in the center for my footer. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I've got my footer in the center. Uh, you know, depending on how I want to do this, I may actually not make this container 90% of the view height. 
Let's take that out and let's do something else. Let's do uh, let's do the main part. Sorry, go past the nav. We'll do the main part, and we'll do um, the minimum height. Let's do eighty percent of the view height. Okay. Control save, uh, and we're gonna do a colon here because it's gonna mess everything up. If we don't. Okay. Um, refresh it. Okay. So now let's see the footer slam down in the bottom. Um, the one thing I want with my footer, that's looking pretty good. The one thing I want with my footer um, is I want some padding around the parentheses. So I'm going to do footer P, and we're going to do some padding of 15 pixels. And maybe I want the font weight to be a little bit heavier. So I think I've got 500 available in this font. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then it looks a little darker, and we got some padding with it. Okay, um, and maybe to delineate the footer a little bit better, I want to do border top. Um, let's do two pixels solid, and we'll do that color. Three, three, three. Okay, so now we've got a line there. So we've got a line delineating the footer. I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe we do something in a light gray. Make it a little bit less dramatic. That looks a little nicer, I think. And then um, also with the um, nav bottom, let's do border bottom. We'll do two pixels, solid, light gray as well to be consistent. And so we've got that. We've got those two borders there. Um, now the top, there's a little extra padding on the top than I would like. And to fix that, I'm going to fool with this. Instead of this padding, just this one, for the top, I'm going to do zero pixels. For right, I'm going to do 15 pixels. Bottom, 15 pixels. And then left, 15 pixels. And let's see how that comes. So now that's that's better. We don't have as much padding on that top. That looks very nice. Um, this is a nice clean site. I think the background on the body, I like the black, but I think I don't want it to be too black. I'm going to do um, 333. Let's try that. And yeah, and that just dulls it a little bit. It makes it look a little bit classy, a little nicer. Um, this is the cool thing about brackets. This, I'm glad I chose this text editor randomly for this video because now you've got you got some nice, uh, you know, just a nice clean HTML site. Um, let's see. Let's bring it down and see how we're looking mobile. So in terms of mobile, we're not looking so bad. Um, if I got smaller, it might have some issues. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a command here for the menu because everything else should crunch up pretty good so I'm going to do at media uh, and we'll say max width of 600 pixels and we're going to say um, nav do display uh, no still having flex display but we're going to say align items in the center and then the flex direction is going to be a column and let's do that and we'll okay so we're going to bring this down and okay and so at 600 pixels so the menu still works fine here I mean it's still get you know things are a little crunched but then boom if you go down here then you got the menu like this on top um, so you can see everything. You only got five items, so I don't really need the little JavaScript with the menu icon. I just want to keep this site really simple, a site that I would use for my math students, where they can just go to the post, click on the post, and, and then go back and just have this basic menu for my students. Just make it very easy for navigation. Now, the menu, um, now the main part of the page, we've got the footer, we got the the top looking pretty good. The background, I like it. Um, these posts, we need some padding here, okay, between our and our headers. 
So I want to give the padding and the headers a little bit more than I would in my paragraph and that kind of stuff. And I don't know. I even added paragraph to that. So let's, let's do a padding of this. We'll do 10 pixels here for these. And then um, for the headers, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. We're going to say the padding is going to be 15 pixels. Okay. And all right. So that kind of breaks it up um, a little bit more. Um, I don't think I like the list style. So I'm going to change that. We'll work on our text. So ULI, and I'm going to say list style and none. Okay. And then hit control save. Okay. And that gives me just my my posts, okay? And hmm, I want this in line, so I might move the posts over. Let's just let's just do it for this one. Let's do an inline style because I don't know that I want this all the time. Uh, we're gonna say padding padding left. Let's do 25 pixels, okay? And that's just for this. And does it move it over much? Uh, no. Hmm. Let's try more. Make sure to save it. Okay, so that 50 pixels does move it over a bit. Still not quite there, so let's do 60. save and we'll see we're kind of pretty good in line right now um, let's drag it down still looks good okay so and we're doing a menu here maybe now maybe I messed with that a little bit let's bring it back to 50 and let's do something else in my style sheet whoops uh, in my style sheet and what I want to do in my style sheet is um, let's let's nix that. Let's control X here. Okay, and then let's bring these down. And we'll say font weight. Let's let's do four hundred, just a regular typical. Okay, and and that changes a bit. Now we don't have we have the posts and the. The list they are lining up nicely let's check it on the mobile it will still line up nicely i might want a little bit of padding in between them so to do that i'm just going to say padding bottom let's do 10 pixels let's see if that's too much eh, it's a little too much for my liking and this is all personal style seven pixels um yeah that looks pretty clean um, and then we can have, so we've got our, our home page built. All right. So good on us. All right. Now this is a basic informational page. So, um, for students, so it's, uh, you know, easy to build. So, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new file and we're going to save it as, um, about.html. Okay, and a quick way to get the same form, I'm gonna hit Control A and then Control C to copy. And I'm gonna paste in this entire thing here. And I'll say, um, I'm gonna change the description. This is about unkertmath.com. You can put whatever you want in the description. Uh, change this to about in the title. Um, and then the nav menu is not going to change um, here um, the heading one is going to change it's going to be about bunkertmath.com okay and we'll probably it won't have it spaced over as much we'll just have a paragraph um, we'll say this um, is about 
lorem.com and then we'll do lorem uh, 500. Okay, and that gives us just random text. I'm gonna hit control and save. Okay, and that's our page. So we can go back to Unkert Math, we can go to about, and here's the whole thing about unkertmath.com, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, TPT store will open to my teacher pay teacher store. Okay, terms of service. We can do the same thing for terms of service. So new, uh, save as um, terms of service HTML. Okay, control V, copy that entire thing. Um, let's say this is the this is the terms of service page for Unkert math.com and maybe with this one we'll create another meta tag so meta name equals robots and then we'll say content equals no index no follow because um, we don't want the them indexing this page so we'll do that um, come up here okay this is going to be terms of service and we're going in here and create some junk text we'll just type lorem maybe we'll have it uh, lorem a thousand it's a huge bunch of terms of service okay so we got my terms of service page blah 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 go back got the about page blah 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 terms of service now we need the privacy policy we can do that one more time so file new file save as privacy policy.html saved control v um, say this is the privacy policy for unkertmath.com i change the this to privacy policy I might not have done that for the terms of service. Let me just hit control save and then let me check. I did not. So I want to make sure to do that. Terms of service and hit control and save. And we're going to control and copy this. Put that in there. I want that one in there too. I want them indexing this page. Okay. Um, and then this part here so say uh, privacy policy and then we're gonna hit uh, P whoops P tab and then lorem I don't know maybe make this one lorem 400 400 oh, okay it's a little shorter all right so that's my privacy policy boom done Okay, so we've got the privacy policy, we've got the terms of service. You see the terms of service in the menu, privacy policy here, about here, TPT store works, and then back to Unkert Math. Now, if we go to a post, say, cannot get that. So what do we have to do? We have to create that. So I'm first going to go back to the index, and I've got it highlighted, so I'm going to hit Control C. And then I want to create a new file and we're going to save this as but remember this one we wanted in a folder called algebra so i'm going to create an algebra folder here i'm going to go into that folder and i'm going to create a absolute value.html is that what i think i called it let's just check go down here absolute value.html okay so let's go into absolute value. You can hit control and V. We're gonna to have to do a couple different things here. So say in the description, this page, this article is about absolute value. Okay, and we want it to index, change the title, absolute value. Okay, one thing though, if I just hit control and save and then go to this page, I don't have my CSS being pulled in. Okay? And the reason I have to do that is I have to move it up a folder. So I'm going to hit dot dot and then a backslash. Where's my backslash? Backslash. Okay? And now I'm going to hit control and save and then boom. Okay? 
I'm sorry. Mm, algebra, algebra. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we were. Okay, so this is the page. All right, confusing myself here. I thought we were on the index page for a moment. Okay, so we're going to have our H1, just normal. And this will be, um, we'll call this absolute value. So I'm going to type in a few things about absolute value. So absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on the number line. Um, the absolute value of negative three is three because negative three is three units away from zero on the number line. And let's type a few more things. Let's say lorem, let's do 50, 50 words here. Okay, that ends that paragraph. Maybe we have another paragraph, uh, another 50. Okay, so we got two paragraphs. Now we have a H2 heading, so let's say more about absolute value. And do another, let's do another paragraph. Um, let's type in lorem, another lorem 50, and then uh, maybe uh, another H2, and then um, something like conclusion. Worm, we'll do 60 words for the conclusion. Hit tab. Okay, so a bunch of junk words. Um, why? Nope, I want that. Okay, um, now we want to go to the absolute value. And we've got it spaced out nicely with the paragraphs and the nice spacing. I like the spacing. Um, could have the paragraphs spaced in a little bit on the side. So looking at how the an article is coming out, um, we could do that. Let's just check the mobile, how the article comes out. Looks pretty good, really pretty good. Um, nice font size, everything like that. Um, the bottom padding, the side padding could go another five pixels, I believe. So, okay, so maybe we wanna mess with the styling a little bit. Um, and we'll say, the top padding, let's make that 10 pixels. The side padding, 15 pixels. The bottom padding, zero pixels. And the top padding, 15 pixels. And that should cut the space in between. Okay. And now, now the paragraphs are a little bit tighter together. Um, and we could break it up even more. And they're aligned with the headers. Okay. So I'm liking that. Um, so that looks good for the article. Um, Okay, so we got that, and we have one more page we're gonna create. Let's see, let's go back to the, oh, let's, if we try and go back to the index, there's one thing we have to fix. It, it says it can't get that, because we don't have index in the algebra folder. So for this menu, we're gonna have to move up for each of these. So we're gonna have to hit uh, da, da, do, da, two dots and a backslash, that'll move up to the upper folder. Okay, math. And for each of these, okay, we're gonna hit Control and Save. Okay, uh, so now we can go back here. We can go back and forth. Um, you know, it works fine. And we've got this. We've got our privacy policy. We've got that. Okay, and now that we've got this absolute value template, what I'm gonna hit is Control. A and then control C and now I'm going to create a new file and we want to save that file as so I believe this was identity and inverse um, properties.html okay and oops and you know what I think I messed up Go to my desktop, group math. Yeah, I want this to be in the algebra folder. Okay, so let's go into the algebra folder. Okay, we're gonna hit Control V 
and save it and then you know then we have to change out everything but we've got we've got the basic format obviously it's not an absolute value it's going to be we're going to have to change the description change the title change all the content which is just junk content right now um, but you know now we can go back to the home page go here uh, identity and inverse properties .html. so I pop possibly spelled it wrong let's check identity properties yeah I gotta be careful so I'm gonna uh, rename it And then let's go back here. Okay. Should work. Identity and inverse properties.html. Indentity. <laughs> wow, I can't even spell. Okay, so you gotta be careful with your spelling. Uh, let's see if it works now. Yep, okay. So now now we've got it. it works we can go through the pages um, and that's how you create templates and now let's say I wanted to do geometry I could create another folder with geometry but this um, we we'll call this an article template and we might actually you know what you might want to do is you might want to include it within the article tags because you want to have let Google know that this is an article but this kind of stuff and I can just copy and then control X and then move it in, control V, you know, so forth. And you might want to tab it over. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect anything with it. Um, but, you know, that way I've got my template for my articles. I've got my template for my main pages. I can put in the content. I can go link to something else, like a teacher pay teacher store in my case. Um, I've got all that stuff. And we built a website in a short amount of time in about... I don't know, maybe however long this video took. Um, and so, so it was really quick to uh, create a custom website. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and please tune in. And, and if you uh, like this video, um, like and subscribe, and it helps the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.